So I'm going to talk a little bit about what um, fashion does for me and what it can do for you and uh, about those wardrobe essentials you need if your body is changing and how to kind of stretch your wardrobe a little bit. So let's talk a little bit about how I got started. I remember um, as a child, I was obsessed with Barbie dolls. Anyone else um, love Barbies, baby dolls? I loved um, my Barbies and I loved just getting them dressed up and I would play with them, play the house with them. And I actually played with my Barbies a lot longer than most people. And realizing now that they were really my first role model of women treating themselves good. You know, Barbies are always dressed to the nine, their hair is perfect, and they just, they're, you use your imagination and they can be whatever you want them to be. And so this was my first role model for women who just really just took care of themselves and looked great. So um, I remember in high school even, I, I grew up in poverty. My parents didn't have a lot of money. Um, actually, a lot of our school clothes came free or from Goodwill. But when I was 15 years old, I started working for the sole purpose I wanted to be able to buy my own clothes. And I wanted to be able to go to the real store and buy new clothes, things that were on trend. And I just always loved to have new clothes, be up with the trends. And you know what fashion does for me is it helps me be more confident. And when you feel good in your skin, it shows through so many layers. It shows through your, your eyes and your posture, your smile. You just have um, just a better self-confidence and self-awareness when you are feeling good in what you're wearing. Am I right? Um, so what is it that makes you feel good? What do you like to wear that just makes you feel like a million bucks? I want you to think about that. So, and I remember in high school, my friends always made comments, Missy, you always are wearing new clothes. And it, it was just something that I liked. It just made me feel good about myself, right? So it is important to make sure you are feeling good, especially as you're trying to lose weight because um, that's what it's all about. And if you're feeling frumpy, if you're feeling like nothing really fits, um, I don't like anything in my closet, you know, it kind of takes back on your motivation and motivation to continue making those changes and continue making those healthy choices. So we want to make sure your wardrobe suits you, suits your lifestyle, and you are always feeling good about what you're wearing. So I want to give you five pieces you can stick in your closet that will prolong your wardrobe as you're losing weight and will kind of grow with you because I always say um, when you have to buy a new wardrobe, it can be the, one of the more expensive pieces of losing weight, right? Because nothing in your closet fits. You got to go out and get new clothes. And then I know how I was. I didn't want to buy new clothes because I wasn't at the size I wanted to be at yet. I was still progressing. I was still losing that weight. So there's kind of a, an awkward phase in the middle when you've lost weight so nothing fits yet you're still, you don't want to invest in a lot of money in your wardrobe because you're not where you want to be yet. So five things you can put in your wardrobe that will grow with you and help prolong that is um, number one is stretchy fabrics. I love stretchy fabrics. Um, a lot of jeans now come in stretchy material and they have just a little bit of stretch to them. So they are still form fitting, but they um, just have a little bit of stretch with them. So they can grow with you, whether you're building up on more muscle, which is uh, I found really important um, for girls who have a little bit of a booty. Sometimes finding those jeans that fit can be challenging. Um, so having the stretch in the jeans helps. Um, also, as you're losing weight, sometimes the stretch can grow with you. So number two, is elastics. Elastic waistbands can really help. And there's a lot of skirts 
um, that come with elastic waistbands. I have some in my closet actually already. So having that elastic waistband that can grow or slim down with you is really important and can help, help you stretch your wardrobe. So number three is wrap dresses or wrap tops. Um, this is really important because um, they just, they're really um, expandable. So they fit a lot of, they're very flattering on a lot of different body types and they can um, slim down with you as you are um, going up or down in sizes. So a lot of these tips you'll find also apply if you are pregnant. If you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, these are also great because they can grow with you and then they can go back down once you go back to your regular size. So wrap dresses are really um, a great thing to have in your wardrobe. Number four is empire waist. So I don't know if you can really see, but right now I have an empire waist top on right now actually. And it's an empire waist, it just, it stops right at your um, bust line. And then the top, the rest of the top just goes down and can be really flattering if, you ha if you're a little self-conscious of your tummy or um, like I said, it's very, um, your bust doesn't change a whole lot. It's really just the bottom part. So um, anything empire waist, either dress, really um, prolong your wardrobe. Number five, talk about accessories. Accessories can bring or lead the eye where you want it to go. So I love to have a good, a big flashy necklace because it brings the eye up. S same for earrings. Um, and also belts can really help because it will accentuate the waistline, um, especially if you're more square like I am and don't really have much of a waistline, that um, um, the belt can really define that for you and create the hourglass look.